Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. This is the 11th video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the layers option that is available in the panel section and uh, let's see what we got so in the right side in your panel section the first option is the layers if you tap on it you can see that there is only one layer available right now so if you want to add more layers to your project just tap on this plus icon and you can add as many layers as you want and if you want to delete the layers for example this one then slide to the left and you will have the option to delete it for example like that and in the same way slide to the left and you just have to tap on this small bin icon and the layer is gone so if you want to rename the layer just slide to the left again and you will see this text option tap on it and you can change the name like that for your convenience okay now let's delete them and now we have two layers so if you select the layer one so whatever you draw will be added to this layer one for example if we draw a square we draw a circle all these objects all these shapes are added to the layer one so if you select the layer 2 and now whatever you will do will now be applied to this layer only for example in layer 2 I want the background color so let's select the shape and maybe color is black and let's draw it like that so now all the shapes are behind this big square that we have just created because the layer 2 is above the layer 1. So if you want to change the sequence, like if you want layer 2 to be behind the layer 1, you can tap for a bit longer and drag below this layer 1 and release the drag and as you can see the background is now black and you can see the shape we have created while selecting layer 2 is now behind the layer 1 so whatever layer is above will be shown in front and whatever layer is below that will be behind so there is another thing like for example if you want the layer 1 objects to be the part of layer 2 objects so let's for example if you want that circle in the layer 1 to be the part of layer 2 just tap a little bit longer and drag it to the layer 2 and just release the drag and now this circle that was the part of layer 1 is now the part of layer 2 because the rectangle the black rectangle is above the circle so we are unable to see the circle so if you want the circle to be in front 
just tap on this circle a bit longer and drag it above the rectangle and release the drag and now as you can see we have the circle in front there are also some other options like for example if you want to lock the layer 2 let's take it back to layer 1 and if you want to lock the layer 2 just tap on this lock icon and as you can see we can't select this rectangle anymore if you want a specific object to be locked for example this rectangle in the layer 1 if you want this rectangle to be locked just tap on the lock icon in front of that rectangle and this rectangle is now locked and there is a small lock icon as well so if you want to unlock it just tap back and we are good to go again okay there is another option if you want to hide or unhide the layer for example if I want to hide the background which is the black rectangle and which is the layer 2 in our case just tap on this eye icon like that and now the layer 2 is hidden if we tap back the layer shown again so guys that's it for today I hope you like this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.